Welcome back. We're here again at the Six Star Loft. And we're doing a, a video today based on some previous videos that we did about our uh, pigeons from our Ace of Spade line. Um, we, we, we're going to put together some information today which I believe is very important for races on the beginning and intermediate level. And you got to really follow the information from the first video. This is going to be video number two. And I'm gonna I'm gonna speak on certain issues, and I think it's a point where you gotta really listen in and um, follow what we're saying. You don't have to agree. We I just want you to follow the train of thought that we used in our bird selection. So I'm gonna go over one of the things that we we said that we were gonna do before we even bought pigeons. What we did was. We wanted to buy pigeons that were winning on an international level. So we went and we looked up some breeders here in the States who had pigeons that were winning on an international level. Winning in Africa, winning in Barcelona, but they were here in the States, here in the United States. So we, we found a couple of those breeders and we said that we were going to take from those breeders and uh, uh, select carefully how those birds were going to fit into our loft. So we, we got a, a, a cock bird that we end up breeding from a couple of different birds and we chose this cock bird to be our foundation cock. So we named the cock bird uh, the Ace of Spade. So then from the Ace of Spade we went and we had some youngsters from him. In 2014 they gave us about seven youngsters from this Ace of Spade cock, a blue bar. And from there, we chose uh, to keep three youngsters. And we raided those birds. Now, the bird we're handling here today, cameraman, you can zoom up on this bird. The bird that we're handling today is the direct son from the Ace of Spade cock. He was rated number one. Now, I did a video for the Pigeon Insider about how we rate pigeons on, on wing structure, balance, feather quality, intelligence, wing strength, wing length, and this bird was the subject of that video we did for the Pigeon Insider. We also did some videos for the Six Star Loft where we were showing our cock birds from the Ace of Spade line, and this cock bird is King David. He was rated number one. Why are we bringing up King David? Is because in 2015, we took four birds, which were uh, direct brothers and sisters from the Ace of Spade, which was his direct children, and also direct uh, brothers from this bird, of this bird. So we took those four birds and we put them in what's called the King Lou's Auction. And we had four youngsters out of the Ace of Spade. We had four youngsters. These four babies were coming from two different hens. Okay? And we took these two hens. One of them was rated number one, the hen, and the other one was rated number four. So we had our number one cock bird mated with two hens, which were rated number one and number four. So the babies went on and they were selected in the auction by two gentlemen, one from City Island and one from Highland Loft. The birds were doing well for the gentlemen, both gentlemen, and they were training and they were they were coming back from races and they were they were they were scoring well in the hundred and hundred and fifty and the two hundred. And I was I was clocking that. I was clocking how how those birds were doing because we were utilizing this as a test to test our birds out in the field. And we wanted to see what these birds were gonna do these young birds and the birds started doing well I put those parents back together in the fall and you're gonna see in video number three we just got some youngsters from that line but the thing was in video in the, in the, in the races we were building up to the King Lou's race which was our top bird race at 350 miles that was our top bird race there was other races like the Big Apple there was a the World Trade Center there was a challenge race, but we had these birds picked and selected and sent to the King Lou's uh, race 
through these two handlers. And hopefully in the future, these two handlers will be doing some business with them because they prove themselves to be good handlers and hopefully we'll be doing some business with them in the future. But to go on with the story, two of the birds over in City Island, they were clocking. They were clocking. They, they are the same from King David. They are the same, got the same mother, same father. And they were clocking. At the end, end result was when we did the King Lose race, right before the King Lose race, two days before the King Lose race, one of the birds died. The, bird, the, the handler said the bird was choking on, on something. The bird must have picked up a piece of metal or something and the bird passed two days before the King Lose race. The other bird, which was not doing as quite well as the bird that passed, ended up scoring second place from 350 miles from this line in the King Lose race. It showed us one thing, that these birds have, were proving themselves in our first year to score at such a high rate as coming in second place. Now what we want to do is this. This is going to be another part of the video what we want to do is I was teaching my partner about handling pigeons. And the cameraman, I want you to zoom in on this. And you can see the bird is the bird is flaking, which is a good sign. And I was teaching my partner a, 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 a lesson the other day in a loft, and I was telling him, I took four birds. I took his father, Eagle, the bird that was rated number two in 2014, and this bird. And I told my partner, close your eyes. I told my partner, close your eyes, and I, want, I wanted him to handle each bird with his eyes closed. When he, after he handled all four birds, he had this bird picked as the number one bird that he had handled based off of everything. Let me tell you, this bird, this bird right here, you gotta handle this bird with two hands. That's how powerful King David is. He's a powerful bird. And again, his, one of his family members came in second place in the King Lose race. So we determined that the birds or were winning birds from winning, winning family lines. This we knew. When they told me the bird had came in second place, I was not surprised. I'm not being cocky or arrogant. I was not surprised. I was happy, but I was not surprised because I knew the birds we had selected to breed from were birds that were already winning on an international level. Now in the States here, any bird that can win at 350 is a good bloodline. You can win anywhere in the country at 350 miles. The longer distance races, fours and five, most of your one loft races, they max out at 350. So if you can score high in that category, you know you got winning bloodlines. And one thing we knew, one thing I knew, is that this was a good line of pigeon based on observation, based on his wing structures, based on his muscles, based on his sharpness, based on his IQ. I knew these were good birds. I knew it. I said, I wasn't surprised. When they said, Petty, your, your bird scored second, I wasn't surprised. I wasn't like, oh my goodness, shot. I said, I knew they were going to do well because I'd done my homework. And I've done my research. And this is what I want to tell you guys today on the beginner and intermediate levels. Do your homework. Study, bur study birds. Study their characteristics. Sit down in your loft. Watch your birds. Watch how they, they act before they fly. Watch, how, watch them in the air, how they fly. Watch how they respond when they come back, whether they're eating. There's a lot of things just from observation you're going to learn from your birds. Watch how they, they made up. Who's first to made up? Who's first to get to the food? First to get to the water? Who's first to defend their area? These are all key trigger points. Look at this. I'm struggling. I'm struggling over here to hold this, this bird. So cameraman, let me do this. I'm going to pause. Pause cameraman. All right, we're back. We, we had to get rid of the bird. The bird was struggling and we didn't want to injure the bird. So we had to put the bird away. But again, I just want to summarize some points here. Our next thing that we're going to do is we're going to go to Bobby's loft. He invited us to come over. We're going to take some pictures of the second place bird. I'm going to then take that bird with my partner who I showed 
what a winning bird feels like, what a top quality bird feels like, and I want my partner to handle the bird. Once my partner handles that bird, he'll have a better idea what winning birds feel like. I mean, you might not think it's important, but it's very important, it's critical that you understand what a great bird feels like. You will know, you'll many, visit many lofts, and you'll go in and you'll say, let me handle your first place, second, third, and you will see there's not much difference in those birds. The strength in the bird's wing and body and, and, and endurance and so forth. We watch all of those things carefully. I never buy homing pigeons on a whim. I never go to the pet shop and say, oh, that's a not, I never buy birds like that. I, we study pedigrees, we study race results, and then we, we want to get in and we want to select the birds based off us handling the birds. If I can't buy, if I can't do those three things, I, I don't mess with the birds. I don't deal with the birds. I don't, I, don't, I don't purchase them. So I need to have those three things. But now our next mission, our next video is to go to Bobby from City Island, sit with him, get the bird in our hands, handle the bird, then rate that bird with our best 2014 birds. Like for example, uh, King David, he supersedes his father. His father is smaller. King David is bigger, stronger, more muscles. Why? Because of the nutrition that we gave him in 2014. He was raised on a different level of nutrition than his father was. If we can get next year, 2016, if we can get 30 to 40 birds like that, we're going to really put a dent in the races, in the World Trade Center, in the King Lose, in the Derby, North Carolina Classic. We want to get to the point where we're sending those birds to Africa, where we're sending those birds to the, the Black Sea Race, where we're sending those birds to Barcelona. We're headed down that path because we're carefully selecting our birds, we're carefully breeding our birds, we're giving the birds an excellent health program. And now we, we, we're getting the results that we're looking for. We're getting the results. And the next video that you're going to see, you're going to see us go to Bobby out in City Island. We're going to handle the bird. We're going to videotape it. Then we're going to rate that bird with our four best birds. And we're going to see what classification he falls in there. Look for the next video. This has been the Six Star Off.